Hi everyone, Basil Trapper for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down up 76 at 35,162. Okay, action. It needs to offer the doji candle uh, close on Friday, long legged doji. Yeah, yeah, within two days, you need to see a close above the high of uh, Friday of 35,333, and that'll be positive and say, good, now you can start leg C trying to get to the 35,680s. That'll be important, but certainly you don't want to close underneath the lower Friday, which is 35,089. It almost the same thing applies to the S&P uh, trading up. 10 right now at 45.11. We did get that early weakness in the Chapman Wave Chun Gage said on Friday that there should be an immediate weakness in the Dow going to negative and uh, then there'll be a rally and that's exactly what we've seen. But now the day is young. We'll see what happens and we want to see if the S&P is able to garner enough strength to at least by, I would say tomorrow, but it should be today. Uh, close above the high of 45.39.66 that was on Friday or on to slide to a minus 5 at any point this afternoon. The QQQ, so this is interesting, the S&P is up 0.28% but the s and the QQQs are up 0.36%. So we're looking up $1.36 at 359.31. Sounds great but you know what? There are just too many trades underneath the 14-period moving average. It needs to get above the 200-period moving average of 363.61, and it needs to do it by Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday at the latest. Certainly not mustn't close under 357. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000 IWM, a nice move up, one of the better percentage gainers. Yep, it's playing catch-up. We'll see what happens because if it's able to close above 202.50 in the next two days, maybe this is one that's going to start to show much better strength over the coming weeks. Gold is coming back nicely. It's up 9 at 1816. It isn't a trading band, but it's moving towards the upside. The MACD hasn't crossed positive, so we'll see how it can handle 1825 if it goes above that. That's going to be a good sign. We're looking at crude oil. Crude oil is kind of struggling here. It's down 69 cents at 91.62. If crude oil closes under 89.50 in the next two days, we've made at least a short-term top. I've been saying that for a little while, haven't I? And we're looking at the at bonds. What are bonds? James Bonds. Uh, 153 and 330 seconds down, 530 seconds again. This is an ugly picture. And you can see that. I did this in my show, The Target Technician Now. Just a moment ago, I showed the uh, uh, Toll Brothers, all the home builders, just getting close. Robert, they have the same pattern. So rates look like they're going high, and that is impacting some part of the market. Have a great day. Stay tuned for Larry Presenter. Great program. You've got uh, Larry, you've got Thinkerswamp, you've got Steve Rose, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Check out Mo. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.